Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. And we have a new series here. We're gonna do this every Friday or Saturday, whenever I can get it up. And it's gonna be the weekend loadout. And you know, you play quick play with your friends, or you play solo, you get into quick play, all you PvP players, and you know, you kind of use the same things. Well, kind of take a step back, and we're gonna be using things that are really good, but you don't really see anymore, or I'm gonna try to explain why they're good, and then you can kind of make a decision. At least play a game with it. That's why that's kind of like why it's a challenge. You know, you can play a game and say, nah, it's not my thing, or you can kind of follow through and maybe use it a little bit more. And this one's going to be about the Malfeasance with the Slug Shotgun. Now, it could be just the main weapon or the full loadout, but, uh, you know, these are going to kind of put you out of your comfort zone sometimes. Uh, we're going to be using different things, for, like SMGs sometimes, we're going to be using sidearms, it's going to be pretty fun. But the Malfeasance, man, the stability is unrivaled. It's the most stable weapon in the game aside from Graviton Lance, but Graviton Lance has that perk with it that makes it kind of all over the place. But the stability is really good on a 180. It's a one second time to kill. Two headshot, two body. So console players are in love with 180s. But 15 round mag, it, it is an exotic, it takes up your exotic slot. But 15 round mag, extremely stable, extremely easy to return fire because of flinch. But it's, you know, it's exotic perk, the explosive shadow. After five shots, those explode and it extends your effective range. Essentially, it's about, if you're looking at 19 or 20s to the body, uh, that's going to be your goal of about 44 meters right so at 44 meters and in it really pushes it out and you hit five body shots and especially right now solstice it's really good against supers and it's always been good against supers and uh, the second one's going to be the Ganora's axe now it depends on what subclass you're on I'm on the top tree gunslinger swashbuckler also works with throwing knives and let's say I was on bottom tree striker uh, with worm gods or something like that you're going for melees anyway so you're gonna get the times five going and what's really cool we're gonna be trying throwing knives to get the long distance one to get swashbuckler times five now this allows you to one shot body sometimes one slug and sometimes you can get uh, supers with headshots when you have a swashbuckler times five now we know the range is capped I do have another one that has opening shot. I mean, it's a really, really good one. And again, sometimes it's going to put you outside of your comfort zone. This does have Icarus. We're going to try to get some shots from the air. We're on the Hunter. We have Stompies. And what's so cool about this series, like I said, I love doing live gameplay commentaries, and you guys seem to like them. That way, um, I always talk about my strategy and my thought process. You guys seem to enjoy that. And what's really cool, like once Shadow Keeps comes, we can on Wednesday review a new weapon and then use this time for the Friday, Saturday week, uh, weekend loadout to talk about it a little bit more in depth, you know, in game setting, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited for this series. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right, so we're loading in here and let's see. We have a couple, couple two stacks, that's fine. At least there's no fives or sixes. We're running solo here. But again, the whole goal of this series is we're gonna talk about this weapon as we're playing, but for you, at some point during your play session, throw it on. And mainly the Malfeasance and a Slug Shotty. Now, if you don't have Ganora's Axe, you can do good bone structure. Now, if you don't have those, just use what you're comfortable with. Aaron Till, we have a Tekion Force, so you don't see those ever. Uh, but, you know, main thing's Malfeasance. And again, we'll talk about it during the gameplay. And also, you know, uh, we, got, we talked about it in the last gameplay commentary. You guys were talking about in the comment section. I mean, my Battle Beaver has these buttons, right? And I try to drown them out and post edit but they're still kind of loud so dude i'm so sorry about that all righty we're on distant shore let's see if we have control or all right we have clash so that means we can do a little bit of different things generally when when it's control and i'm a solo player i try to fill a role if nobody's going to be you have to have some sort of presence at b man like they can't have you the whole time um and sometimes players just kind of refuse to go there on this side this is the most dominant side since destiny one i always liked i'm gonna try to get over here as fast as i can at their jump up i'm gonna throw this down and we have players in the back looking at them, right? So my main goal is going to be right here. We're actually going to come all the way around if we can. And we do have this Icarus shotgun. Swashbuckler times five? Nope. I guess we didn't have Swashbuckler times five. That's all right. The opening part of a game really is, uh, you know, it's kind of like a break, right? You kind of break it in the middle. It's kind of like bowling, kind of like pool. I mean, it just is what it is. Nothing is really settled yet, so you try to gain advantage. I'm waiting for my team here. My old team's down, so I'm not going to push up. This guy's going to chase me, though. And we'll also talk about how I like to use Malfeasance, especially these 180s. If I see, like, if I land two headshots, don't let him get me teammate. If I land two headshots, I immediately start hitting body shots because of the relaxed TTK. Me and this guy are tearing them up right now. Uh-oh. Oh. We missed everything. Alright, so 
I do have on the dodge, so I'm gonna try to knee slide next to him. That way I get this back. We have Swashbuckler times one. I need that new. 1812, their spawn's over here, right? So actually we're gonna kind of mosey on because we know there's head glitches and that was a bad play. We knew that. So we're rotating with our health. Our health's gonna come all the way back because I'm on a little bit low recovery on my hunter here. We're gonna try to find a new angle, assess new situation. I don't like that middle area from this side. I've always hated it because they have stairs, they have head glitches, and you don't. We couldn't help our teammate out here. Look at that. There's a five shot. That's what we want to do. And if, and if I know that they're far away, like this guy is far away and he actually has an overshield. That's their entire spawn. I'm down. That's this is unfortunate. He's chasing me bad. Trying to help you, dude? All right. Maybe their spawns in mid? Oh! I don't have anything. That was a... I, I did heavy shotgun ammo. We couldn't do anything. And oddly enough, it looks like the two, two stacks are on the other team. That was bad by me. It's because I'm worried about here. Yep. And you try to fight things like as, as, as best as you can. As an example, like this guy is pushing me. As an example, like there's three or four people on their team that I was getting ready to go up to. I was just, I was going to die no matter what. Keep going back to our team. He keeps chasing me. That's cool. Let's go ahead and reload this back. That's really far. <laughs> so I don't know if we'll end up getting that one. Let's see if we can get this throwing knife, man. But we just we have to have the shotgun out as well. So maybe a slug to the body. Swashbuckler times five. Body shot. Well, we are gonna do it. That's alright. Now we are gonna dodge next to our next opponent. That way we get it back. Alright, we do have a super on the board. We have the Malfeasance. This thing shreds them. Alright, he's far away, so I've hit him body. Missed him. This guy's rotating all the way out to me. At least it looked like. Let's choke that off. Oh, yeah, there he is. So now it's going to be Malfeasance time. Maybe Slug Shotgun? Nope. I had bad shots. Another one on the board. Alright, we do have some hit him. He's going to be coming right in front of us. Try to create space. There it is. Boom. And that's why we do it. So like the Malfeasance is really good for that. I mean, especially with all these uh, bottom tree strikers. And then, I mean, Dawn Blade's really long too when it has the thing. All right, we kind of lost our lead. I, I don't know where that Dawn Blade is. I'm going to try to get out here and help you. There's a lot of them right there. We're off the scene. There's two more. So, we kind of rotate all the way around. Knee slide so they don't see me. He has one-eyed mask. There's another one. This guy is hating his heart, dude. <laughs> Chase me so hard. That'll work. See now, what's also cool about Swashbuckler is you have Swashbuckler times one after that kill, so like that helped me out. I mean, we, he had a, an OEM mask, I think, or he had some sort of overshield, and we did good. We have two teammates out here. Their spawn is going to be back there. Wait, <laughs> we have another one. Come on, Malfeasance. He's so hurt. There you go, dude. Play the game again. I knew he had it. Come on, teammate. So there's no reason no one should die right there. There's another one. He has a shotgun out. I heard him load it. Oh. He got saved twice. And we'll keep that in there. That was, uh, that was a bad play by me. Got embarrassed a little bit. But that's cool. That happens, right? 
No worries, we had a bad golden gun. That's a that's a deep one. I can't really see him out there. It's almost like Destiny 1 with a uh, burning shrine and the sun being in your face. Good plays, dude. I'm gonna grab those orbs. This guy's in mid, and actually they're spawning back there. It's so st it, it just handles flinch so well, y'all. And I've always kind of loved that thing. Can't challenge that, I'll lose. We're trying to get away because we're worried about that angle. Let's go ahead and just throw that there. So now we have enough people. This guy should be no problem. Like, I'll challenge no problem. What subclass is he on? Like, is it, if he's on Hunter, he's going to come back. 7764. Kind of follow our teammate here. All right, he had shotgun ammo. Got to be up in the air for this. Okay. Good plays. Yeah, he played me right. I wanted to... I mean, that was an unnecessary, unnecessary death on our part. We have multiple supers. We're actually going to come... This is their spawn. I hope that they don't spawn right here. He's up in the air. Feels bad, man. This guy is heavy. No one in mid. Should get him, no problem. Unless we just keep missing shots trying to get this freaking... And the teammate got it. We got the heavy ammo, that's what I was trying to get the whole time. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. I'm gonna get this angle out here. Does he do it, y'all? Does he do it? No, he doesn't do it. They're on all sides of me. This guy's still in the corner. This guy's gonna come in. Good shots, dude. That thing is terrible. I was like, what ripped me so hard? All right, we have a time limit game unless that Striker Titan can put in work with his super. But, you know, we did pretty good. We, um... Oh, jeez. We ended up getting what we wanted to do. We ended up killing a super with our Malfeasance. It's it's really good at that, and it handles flinch so well. Very easy weapon to use. Two head, two body. 38 opponents defeated. 4-2-2. Two, two. Um, we did good. 7,000 damage. 14 streak. We had a really bad golden gun. There's some things that we could take away that we did really bad that game, but we did a lot good. I was mostly noticing where I t where our team was and where I didn't want the enemy to be. Like, that back C spawn, that, remember I was telling you, that middle hallway? When you're in there, they have stairs, they have a whole bunch of cover, and you don't. I like being on that other side, right? So I tried to make sure to flip it as much as I could. When they were in C spawn, where I initially spawned, I needed to try to take that as fast as possible and anchor it for our team. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, at some point, throw on the Malfeasance, put in some work with it. And as this goes, it's going to be different things. It's going to be SMGs, everything, right? And we're, we'll talk about them and we'll talk about strategy throughout the gameplay. Thank you guys for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.